Today I will try to give this image more color, light and make the overall image pop. First I will start with trying to get the details out of the shadows. So I will go to tune image and increase the shadows. So you can see details getting back and I will also decrease the highlights a bit and apply this. Next I will use the selective tool that is the selective filter to pop the greens a bit. Here I will increase the saturation also a little bit contrast apply this next I will use the vintage filter to give the image a dodge and burn effect so I'll apply the vintage filter and then go to stacks brush that is masking tap on the stacks icon on the top right view edits vintage and brush here I will try to make some parts bright look bright by removing the vintage effect so with the effect applied and the brush value at zero I will just brush it on the areas where I want to get the light back toggle the masking you just toggle the eye icon which reveals where you have brushed so I'll apply this next I'll do some dodging and I'll go to the brush tool and with the value at 5 I will brush on parts where I want to make it bright I will also apply some saturation going to the saturation option here and with the valid file we will just brush it on the same area I will apply this next I will apply some contrast using the curves and the preset soft contrast and apply this Next I'll apply some, I'll add some light, artificial light here. To do that I'll go to tune image and increase the brightness, also warmth to give it more orangish tint and this one I'll apply selectively that is again I'll go to stacks icon, view edits, tune image and brush and with the effect not applied and the value of the brush at 100 I will just tap it around here so you can see a bit of light getting added there sunlight I will also add little bit more around here with the value at 50 and this is the before and after and I'll apply this and I will brighten it more by going to tune image increasing the brightness and again applying on the same area Now 
I'll try to make the top part of the sky darker. To do that, I'll use the vintage filter again and I'll just apply this with the preset 12. I'll apply this and I'll tune the masking here, vintage brush and with the value at 50, I will brush it on the top part of the sky. I'll also remove the masking here so that it affects only the part of the sky. So you can see the before and after. So here is the original and the edited one. Now I will share this to Lightroom for some color tuning. So here in Lightroom I will go to the color menu mix and I will just tune the hues of the green more towards the cyan's. You can see the greens popping a little. I will also move the yellows towards oranges and increase the saturation a bit also I'll increase the saturation of the oranges and a bit of luminance adding some brightness to the oranges and I'll apply this next I will go to the split toning that is the FX menu split tone and I will apply some yellows to the highlights and blues to the dark, darker parts that is the shadows be a little more orange to the highlights and apply this next I will tune the curves for some contrast and apply it and also tune the vibrance a bit uh, that is just a personal preference I may increase or I will keep it as it is Thanks for watching.